Well, we basically help parents and children um, put food on their table. We're basically evaluating and determining if households are eligible for food assistance as well as the medical assistance for those that were not able to get medical in the past. The first thing we look at is how much they're receiving in the household, which would be their income. If it's unearned income, such as Social Security, um, unemployment workers' comp, and then if they're working, how much they're making. And at that point, we look at what the state guidelines offers and see if they're eligible from then. In order for you to receive assistance, you'd have to either be working or volunteering 20 hours a week. And the minimum you can receive as far as food assistance is $16. The biggest misconception that we have here is that nobody works and everybody receives assistance for free. However, that's not the case. Most people, the majority of the people that I've done interviews with, they are working. Problem is they just need help purchasing the things that they need. We do help them as far as finding employment or we do ask them to look for employment before they decide to apply. Um, I definitely feel there's a satisfaction as far as when um, consumers feel that Consumers feel as though they don't no longer need job and family services um, because it just shows that they, they were doing what they had to do. A lot of people appreciate it, they really do, and, and you hear that at the end of your interviews and the excitement about it, and the people that actually appreciate the most are the ones that are receiving the $16. I definitely feel like I have an impact in their life. You get a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day, so you're not necessarily leaving and you're like, okay, what did I do today, and I'm, and I'm still stressed out. Me personally, it, it, it feels good. It feels good leaving here because I know that I've helped and I've done as much as I could.